Hello everybody, today we're going to be going through part 3 of our big inventory box. So let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a closet on Poshmark along with my wife Angelique. Uh, it's called The Deacons, and it's linked below. Alright, now, this video is cursed. This is my third take on recording this video. The first time I recorded it, in order of the, you know, all the, um, uh, how can I put this? I recorded it along with the other parts, and... When I went to edit it, it was, this particular file was corrupted. So I recorded it again. And once again, the file was corrupted. So it could be that one of these items is so good that it cannot be photographed. But we will see. All right, up first we have a Lululemon tank top. Now this does have the shelf on the inside, so kind of the built-in sports bra. And it is, um, it did fit um, pretty, pretty snugly on the mannequin. Now, last time I recorded this video, I did find the, uh, I did find the size. They kind of hide them on the Lululemon, so, um, ah, there it is. This is a size 8, which I believe is a small, but I don't know. Um, anyway, when I shot this, I didn't get the size, so we're just going to throw that aside so that I remember to um, get that. Alright, up next is a piece of Zara Men's. Um, this. Now this is a, I believe this is a size 40, uh, maybe a 48, uh, so it's just a little bit tight on me. Um, it would be just a little bit tiny. I can't find the size. In. Oh, wait, there it is. Right there. Yes, it is a US 38, a European 48. Um, so it's just a little bit tight on me, but if it doesn't sell, I probably could wear it if I absolutely, well, if I really, really need to. Because it is a really nice, it is a really, really nice uh, blazer, suit jacket, call it what you will. Um, has numerous uh, numerous pockets but all the pockets are still sewn shut yeah that's two pockets there never seen that um, but it's a really nice piece so I hope I don't know um, we've sold Sara stuff we haven't sold a lot of menswear but we just haven't listed a lot of menswear so it's hard to tell um, what our uh, if it's hard to tell if we're really just not able to sell menswear if we just haven't listed a lot of menswear so I don't know all right up next we have another piece that will fit me if it doesn't sell this is a seven diamonds now this piece is really confusing because it has this you see on the outside this is what the inside looks like now that looks like it ought to be on the outside and this was just sewn maybe sewn together backwards maybe um, it also has a flaw right there um, on the pocket. You can see the place where the buttonhole is supposed to be. It's just ripped. And despite appearances, this is actually a button-down shirt because it has these two loops on the inside that hide the buttons that keep the collar down. So I don't know if that makes it a button-down, button-up, button-medium, button-up-down. Uh, but it's a shirt. Um, and I do enjoy wearing my Aloha shirts or Hawaiian shirts if you're not, if you don't like using the proper terminology. So if that doesn't sell, that'll go right into my closet. My personal closet, not my Poshmark closet. Alright, up next is a Club Monaco Men's Medium. Now this doesn't have any flaws. Uh, it does have these little itty bitty, I, those are flowers, so, um, as with most things, it's a floral design, um, but it's a short-sleeved button-up shirt. Definitely something I will wear if it doesn't sell. 
form paper said that I'll wear and then I'll sell it. Who knows? There seems to be a lot of menswear that is my size in this box. All right, getting away from my personal closet, we have an Air Apostle extra small knitted, knitted shirt. Uh, now this should do just fine in the fall or winter, um, but probably won't do too good until then just because of the weather. Um, I do know that my wife told me, and I think I've mentioned this um, before, that Poshmark recently made it easier to relist um, items. So we'll probably list that and then relist it in the fall. We have had um, actually quite a bit of success with relisting some older items that are now coming back around into season. So um, relisting is definitely, um, definitely, definitely a great tool for increasing your sales on some older items. All right, up next we have a Maeve. Now this is an anthropology brand, I believe. Uh, this is a large, and I call this a fuzzy pink plaid, because uh, it's not really quite as uh, like straight, strict lines as plaid is, but it does have that pattern, and it's pink, obviously. Okay. Now, oh, it does have these buttons in the front, and all the buttons are there, all the buttons are working. Um, we have, we do have a couple of um, pieces of this Anthropology brand, um, Maeve, in our closet, and we have sold a couple of pieces of it recently, so um, I definitely think this will do just fine in the current climate. All right, up next we have a pair of yoga pants. These are... Um, misguided, I believe is this brand. Uh, they are a US 4 and they're yoga pants because I call any pants you can do yoga in yoga pants. Um, I guess the technical name would be leggings. Um, but they're a nice, nice pair of yoga pants, so that's active wear. That should do really well for us. Okay. And speaking of active wear, up next we have a Fashion Active Lab. This is a small gray shirt, long sleeved. So this is probably something that you could wear um, for a run in the uh, winter, wear it underneath a wear it underneath a jacket, or just wear it by itself if it's not quite that cold. I believe this. I don't know if this is technically a thermal. Uh, let me see if it says so on the tag. No, it just says that it's 100% cotton, maybe on the, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't say if it's a thermal or not, uh, but definitely, um, definitely could be worn, thin enough to be worn underneath something, thick enough to be worn by itself, great piece of active wear, and active wear does really, really good for us, so hopefully this fashion active labs will do well because there are a lot of uh, fashion active labs in this box okay up next we have a very very nice st john's shirt now i don't know um i just kind of called this a some kind of animal pattern maybe it's a peacock um it's a little maybe it's like a dark peacock i don't know um anyway this is a st john shirt now I believe every piece of St. John's that we've had in our closet has sold, um, so I'm really happy to get that. It's a very good brand um, that we sell very, very easily. Now, one thing about this shirt is that it has this zipper right here um, that I guess opens it up a little bit, so if you had, so it would, you'd be able to put it on, but it doesn't seem like it's supposed to be a tight-fitting shirt, so I don't know. Um, it doesn't seem like it would be seems like it would be loose enough where you wouldn't need to have the um, little opening to get into it, but I don't know. Maybe it's meant to be worn a little bit tighter. Who knows? All right, up next we have an H&M. Uh, this is a US 6 H&M pink, blue, and green striped dress. Now, this H&M... Uh, uh, you know, we've we've sold it. Hasn't done the best for us. It's kind of a medium tier 
brand. Um, so I'm not really too, too excited about this dress, but H&M, you know, it's just a nice bread and butter brand um, that tends to do well regardless of um, regardless of the fashion trends or anything. So I think that's, that's a great piece. We can just put it in our closet and when it sells, it will sell. All right, and speaking of those middle brands, we have a pair of, or a pair, we have a loft shirt. Now this, um, these are little itty bitty flowers in there, so I can call this a floral pattern. Um, and it's a, it's just a large shirt. It does have this tie in the front. I don't believe that tightens at all, so yeah, it's just kind of there for show. It does, it does actually tie, so it's not entirely for show. Um, anyway, much like the H&M, uh, Loft is a brand that we've sold. We don't really have trouble selling, but it's not, it doesn't really fly out of the closet for us. So it's just a nice, just a nice, um, nice brand just to have in the closet to, um, that kind of sells regardless of any of the current trends. And have I been off camera this entire time? No, I have to go pretty far over. Okay, up next we have a Ralph Lauren 2T. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a 2T. Um, now, I did want to look compare this to one other item in this box. This is a another um, Ralph Lauren 2T. Now, when I was looking at these, I thought that the one 2T was bigger than the other. And there you can see that the um, the white and blue one kind of goes over the um, plaid pattern one. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how they justify both those being 2T, but I guess 2T is quite a long range. Now, as far as what will, as far as these two items go, um, every time we've listed baby clothes, they've sold pretty quickly. Um, so I'm not really sure if we just sell them really quickly or if it's just we've gotten lucky. We haven't listed a whole lot of baby clothes. Now these are 2T, so um, they might, might fit my son. He's 20 months old, um, but he is, um, if you have kids, you, you'll you know this. He's in the... What are my neighbors doing? Uh, they're doing stuff with a hammer. Anyway, he is in the 86th percentile for height. So he is a very tall 12, 20-month-old. <laughs> so he's almost, um, he's almost as big as his sister, who's only in like the 30 percentile for height. And she's two years older than him. So... Um, <laughs> Yeah. Children's sizes, they are inaccurate in the best conditions. We'll probably end up just selling those and hopefully they'll sell fast. And that um, one of those is new of tags, um, forget which one. <laughs> okay, up next we have a misguided lingerie bodysuit. Um, now this is a US 4 and I don't think this, I'm calling this lingerie because I don't think this is a body suit that you would wear to work out in. Although, depending on where your gym is located, um, probably could. Maybe if it's, if you have a home gym, I doubt you'd want to wear this out to your Planet Fitness or whatever. Anyway, um, see how that does. All right. Getting back to active wear that you would actually wear to the gym, we have another Fashion Active Lab Extra Large, new with tags, as are most of the um, Fashion Active Labs. This is a black tank top. That's pretty much all there is to say about that. Um, I'm really hoping that this fa that these Fashion Active Lab shirts and pants and everything do well because there were a lot of those in this. Um, in this overall box. Um, not just this part, but in the other parts as well. A lot of that. So 
definitely hope it does well. It's activewear. Activewear tends to do really good for us, so hopefully that'll do well. All right, up next we have this uh, Mickey Stands. Um, this is a Uniquil. Um, it is an extra small pink hoodie. And you can see it has the um, old school Minnie Mouse right there. Um, old school being that she has the all white face and the eyes that um, are just black dots. Um, I, I know uh, quite a bit about Minnie Mouse on account of my daughter, who is three, absolutely adoring her. Um, she loves all her cartoons. She won't go to sleep unless she has her mini with her. So assuming she doesn't grow out of that um, and uh, gets uh, older and we don't sell this, she'll have a nice hoodie. But I think this will I think this will sell. Um, it's new with tags. It's Disney. Oh, it should do nicely. All right, up next we have a DKNY dress uh black and red dress just with the one red one red st thick stripe down the side um other than that completely black so almost a um i guess you could call this almost a um essential item uh the dk and y um we've sold a couple pieces of it uh we have a couple pieces in our closet it doesn't exactly do the best for us so um we'll uh We'll see how that does. Okay, and next we have two pieces of J. Crew pants. Uh, they are both J. Crew slim stretch pants. They are 32 waist, 30 length. And there's some nice pants. Now they are. I mean, they're, they might be a little bit short, but um, maybe if I sag them down or just wear really high socks, I could pull it off. Um, but we have two pairs of these, so if neither of them sell, then I will, or provided either of them don't sell, I will just put them into my wardrobe. Um, now, the other pair is gray. The gray pair is, in fact, new with tags. So... Um, I don't know how those will do, being that they're menswear. Um, I've said it before. I think I said it earlier in this video. Menswear, we haven't really gotten enough of it to know if it um, if it sells really well for us or not. Okay. Up next, we have a Pink Sundays Wednesday shirt. Now, this is a t-shirt that says Wednesday on it. Presumably, it is part of a collection of shirts with the day of the week on the front. So, kind of would really like to sell that as part of a set, but if you're looking to complete your set, definitely a good shirt to get. And last, we have another piece of menswear. This is another Club Monaco, and if I can find the, there it is. This is another Club Monaco men's medium slim fit shirt. Another floral pattern, and it's actually, this is probably one of my favorite pieces for myself out of the whole box. Um, so, I think I would look pretty nice in that. So, if it doesn't sell, you know where it'll go. I'll actually even wear it in a couple of videos class these up a little bit uh, but like I've like I said briefly very very not not too long ago I believe it was the last item menswear don't know how well it does for us uh, but I am happy that the menswear that we did get are all my size all right and that's gonna bring us to the end of the video so what did I think of that part of the box well I I'm disappointed about that seven diamonds it seemed like it was a really good brand but that shirt has some serious flaws other than that um, the fashion active collabs I think those things are gonna do well for us active wear does great um, really like the fact that there's some lululemon in there um, lululemon has just been flying off the shelves for us so 
Well, I don't even put it on shelves, so it's been flying off of the inventory system that um, is back there that I can actually show you because my camera's free. Um, so, see? There. Quick look at our inventory system. Um, kind of chaotic, but it's just been flying out of that. Um, the Some of the other stuff is really good brands. Some of it's just some um, kind of mid-tier mid -tier brands that um, we'll just sell regardless of... Uh, regardless of the um, current trends. So overall, I'm pretty happy. All right. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff below. You know how to use YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Um, until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you.